Hey guys, uh, uh today is, n this video is not a Tristan Sports Week video, um, uh, I just want to make a quick update about where I've been, uh, so far, um, and, uh, right now, I don't want to discuss that right now, I wish I can discuss it, but anyway, let's get right to the video why I'm making this video. It's just probably an update video of what I've been up to lately. I haven't been up to anything. Um, but anyway, guys, um, I really have some terrible news. Um, if any of you are not aware, if anybody is not aware from my channel. Um, normally, I don't like talking about this much. I probably think everybody else knows about this tragic loss um, that happened three days ago in L.A., uh, of, um, January, you know, the, uh, January of this month, this year, 2020, where, um, uh, where there was a helicopter crash in, uh, LA, and I really hate saying this, but, um, uh, I'm making this video on the tragic loss, um, of Kobe Bryant. So, we did lose Kobe Bryant, a famous basketball player uh, for the uh, LA Lakers. Normally, I don't like talking about basketball on my channel, but the thing is, I have to do it because of, um, um, for your understandment. Now, it all started back, um, back three days, bef three days ago on, um, probably on a cloudy and foggy day. It was a cloudy, foggy day. The helicopters were grounded, and um, basically, I have no idea what, how it happened. But Kobe Bryant was on his way to um, with his 13 year old daughter to a basketball game, which is what I heard. And all of a sudden, uh, somebody uh, called uh, emergency services in LA, and then basically, he we just got word that he. He and his little daughter passed away uh, from a scary and fiery helicopter crash. And truly, my uh, my um, my uh, heart will probably go out to uh, the Bryant family, um, to his three little daughters and uh, his what and his wife. So I want to say God bless to you guys. Um, uh, and. It's a shame. It's really a shame to lose a famous basketball player. So, I mean, we've, I've, um, from my personal view, uh, we've lost a lot of people, um, famous sports athletes and, um, uh, basically, uh, some motorsports athletes. Like, uh, for instance, you got Dan Weldon, um, uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt, for example, and Greg Moore. Lots of them. Lots of them. But, yeah. I mean, truly, I don't know what to say about this or what caused this, but traditionally, whenever I see that, it kind of reflects on uh, whenever I see that accident, I think of it as an accident. I mean, well, not necessarily an accident, but I know it was terrible to see, but whenever I saw that um, helicopter crash, it kind of reflected me when I'm um, back when we when I saw the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, plane crash um, in Tennessee because of uh, where he's he and his wife and his uh, daughter and his dog all his family survived um, and walked away from that crash. So truly, I don't know what to say about the um, this accident. I mean, I mean there was some thick in the weather, but truly, I'm really shocked about um, this um, lo tragic loss on Kobe Bryant and we, we will and I'll bet the um, uh, the Lakers and the all the other basketball team members will definitely miss Kobe Bryant it's a tough loss for uh, Kobe Bryant um, no, normally I'm not a basketball fan I don't like watching basketball in person but it's hard to believe uh, for a tragic loss for a great athlete um, from back Way back, um, we're talking going way back um, throughout the decade of basketball when we first all started. Um, I mean, 
tough break for uh, Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter. Um, not surviving in a pl in a helicopter crash, but truly, uh, I I've seen that before. Like really, I mean, I've s we've seen a lot that's been going on. I mean, that's really crazy. Um, but truly, whenever I see that crash, oh man, I don't like putting similarities and differences um with this kind of wreck wreckage. But it kind of whenever I see that moment, I mean. It kind of reflects me. I know it's there's no similar difference in this moment, but I'm gonna say it anyway. It kind of reminds me of uh when we when the NHRA on uh, Drag Racing Association uh lost and and this was actually 2008 uh, when I was eight years old when I was watching the English Town New Jersey Super Nationals um at Old Bridge Township Raceway Park when they were qualifying session four. Um, when we lost the DHL driver Scott Coletta and the Connie, part of the Connie Coletta family. So, I don't know what to say. Um, it kind of reminds me of that moment because of a, when I first saw Scott Coletta on a, in a fiery car, in a fiery accident, um, going down to the sand trap. And it was actually a quarter mile back then. It wasn't a thousand feet. This was before they, um, went to a thousand feet, but... I just want to say God bless you all, and um, I um, it's really shocking to say the least. I mean, whenever I see that, and also it does remind me. Um, now some of you probably don't know. Whenever I see that moment, it kind of reflects me. Also, that it kind of also reflects me also on the uh, Dan Weldon accident, uh, which happened in Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Uh, so when we lost Dan Weldon in the race with a 15 car wreck in IndyCar. So a uh, tough break for uh, Kobe Bryant and his family. I don't like um, uh, similarities and differences. You can say all you want in the comment section below. It, it doesn't matter. I mean seriously he was a great athlete. Great, hu great husband. He's got a beautiful wife. I just want to, um, uh, I want to de um, dedicate the, um, the Bryant family, uh, a, um, very sorry, tragic moment, uh, that's been occurred. So, I just wanted to make that, this quick video about what's, what happened, what has happened to the Bryant family, and, um, Normally, I don't talk about this on my channel, but the thing is, I had to, I have to do it for you guys. Um, it, some of you that are not familiar with this type of situation that's, that's been occurred. But, to me, he will be missed, and, um, uh, it, it's really shocking. Um, but anyway, guys, um, just wanted to make this quick video. I know um, I should be getting back to Church and Sports Week and all that craziness, but I think I'll probably get back to it somewhere around the beginning of February um, before the start of the day 2500. So, um, yeah. Um, if some of you do know, then just please um, comment down below if you can. Um, and also, before I end the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And plus, comment below. Um, if you've already, if you haven't heard about this tragic accident, um, and if you're a Kobe Bryant fan as well, and, um, uh, give me some, um, and, uh, give me some comments down below, and, uh, of what you think. So, I don't know what to say. It's, it's really tragic moment, to say the least. And, uh. So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I will uh, see you guys later in the next video. Uh, make sure to give your family hugs and kisses. Um, this is, yeah, do such like that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.